On a clear day, we can see forever. This is Clear Word Wednesday. A few moments in God's Word, designed to help you to see God's eternal purpose. Join us as we see clearly into God's Word. So in last week's presentation, I said that was a one-shot, heavy message, heavy topic, as we usually look at light passages. But this week, we're looking at another one, the state of the dead. Hello and welcome to Clear Word Wednesday. I'm your host, the Word Master. Today, we are looking at the passages found in John chapter 5, 25, 28 and 29, Ecclesiastes 9, 5 and 6. In John 5, the Bible says, Verily, verily, I turn to you, the hour is coming, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. Verse 28 and 29 says, Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming, in the which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice, and shall come forth. They that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. In Ecclesiastes 9, 5 and 6, the Bible says, For the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything, neither have they any more a reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. Verse 6, also their love and their hatred and their envy is now perished, neither have they any more a portion forever in anything that is done under the sun. So, right off the top, I want to address the reason why you're hearing this, and this is probably one of my oft-repeated messages, because among the deceptions that this ministry seeks to be the antidote to is the state of the dead, and one of the most important facets of our existence is the fact that our loved ones are ripped from us, many of us at a time that we do not expect, and we have questions, what happens to that person after they die? Well, I want to say to those of us who are listening, who believe that there is an existence past the point of the grave, I'm not talking about what Jesus says here, but what persons are led to believe, that after the body ceases to be, that the spirit lives on, according to what we just read here. No, it does not. No, it does not. In fact, let's diagnose what Jesus said. He says that those who hear his voice, right, from the grave, that's in John. He doesn't say to a spirit up there in heaven next to him, go back into your body. The Bible says he speaks to the grave, and calls for those that are in the grave. Meaning, he lets us know that that's the destination where the dead will come from, that they're not in heaven. Only people who make it to heaven are always alive. Check your Bible. Enoch, Moses, Elijah. They were alive when they entered into the pearly gates, as we call them. And after Jesus rose from the dead, those who went to heaven with him alive. There are no disembodied spirits in heaven, my friends, except God, and that's the Godhead, and the angels. That's it. Every other, everyone else is one that has been raised immortal, given their spiritual eternal bodies, and that they will come back to earth with a body like Jesus had in the resurrection. Remember what Jesus said. Does a spirit have flesh and bones as you see me have? Give me something to eat, and he ate. This was after the resurrection. My beloved, the Bible is clear. And let me, let the Bible be clear, just in case you're wondering. In Ecclesiastes 9, 5, the Bible says, For the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything. That dark old negatives, as it were, to let us emphatically know that when you die, that's it, until the point of the resurrection. And notice verse 6, also, their love and their hatred and their envy is now perished. I want to clarify that even more because, you see, it doesn't say that their hunger and their thirst and their need for sleep has now perished. It gives you intangibles, right? It gives you intangibles. 
that which could only be applied to a spirit being. My beloved, I don't know how to make it any clearer that when a person dies, a person dies. There is no part of them that lingers on, and therefore they can't come back to your house and haunt you. Only fallen angels do that. That Satan and his angels, they're the ones who are responsible for all the hauntings. When a person dies, a person dies. And also, that means, my friends, who pray to your ancestors, who pray to spirit beings that you think are in heaven, Mother Mary and so forth, there are no such things. Again, my beloved, the only persons who made it to heaven are alive. Elijah, Moses, and Enoch. And friends, Mary did not die prior to Jesus coming back from the grave. Remember, Jesus told John to take care of Mary. The Bible says that they met at her house during Passover at Pentecost when the Holy Spirit fell. They were there. That's where they all assembled. My beloved, understand that these principles are important because Satan in these end times will try to trick us. Many of my Christian friends believe that when you die, you don't really die. It's just the body, the shell, releasing the spirit. And also many of my non-Christian friends also believe that. So can you not see how easy it would be for an end-time delusion where the two groups have that one thing in common and they're joined on that point? Because signs are made to appear that the dead relatives are coming back. My beloved, I want you to understand on this Clear World Wednesday, as much as you love your family member who has passed on, that's just it, they have passed on. And the Bible says over time that God will grant us the opportunity to lose memory of them and it won't hurt so much. And so we don't have to hold on. But again, the Bible gives us hope in a day of resurrection when Christ shall come back to this earth. And on that day, when you call resurrection morning, he will speak to the dust. And just as he did at the beginning some 6,000 years ago, he will speak to the dust and bring it to life. That's the amazing love of our amazing God. That's the amazing power of our amazing God. That's the wisdom of our amazing God. He knows how to make things that are not to be. That, that's how he operates. And today on this clear word, Wednesday, I just want to encourage you by the grace of God to dare to believe what God says and not what man says. In the description area, there's more information that I would love for you to get a hold of study and to be sure of the state of the dead. That what happens beyond the grave is exactly what the scripture says. The living know that they shall die, but the dead don't know anything. This has been your host, the Word Master, and yet another clear word Wednesday presentation. See you next week. You have been listening to Clear Word Wednesday. Join us again next time for more insight on God's clear word. Thank you.